did Jesus make us sit together with him? That is answered by Romans chapter 5 and verse 17. The Bible says, if by one man's offense, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. We reign, amen, we reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. So the purpose of sitting is reigning. Are you getting me? The purpose of sitting in Christ is reigning in life not by yourself but through the one jesus christ amen so the purpose the desire of god what he desires to see in the church right now he desires to see a church that is reigning his desire is not to see a church that is still struggling with generational curses He's not looking out for a church that is desiring for the end to come so that they can go to heaven. No. God has equipped us. He has equipped the church. And he says, through Christ, I want you to reign. You are not just a child of God. But God has set you on the earth at such a time as this so that you can be able to reign through Christ. Praise God. It's not a time to think about weakness. Uh -uh. People who reign are not weak. Those who think they are weak, they are not looking at themselves from the perspective of redemption. They are not looking at themselves according to how God sees them. Because really, they are the, the kings that are put in a place to reign, they are people that have been given authority. What causes a, a king to reign is because he has authority. He has what it takes to become a king. And God is saying, the reason as to why you are seated in the heavenly places in Christ is because he desires for you to reign here on the earth. So you have to see yourself as, as somebody who has been positioned by God, equipped by God, given by God whatever it takes and whatever is desired for there to be in place for you to be able to reign. But today, there are many people in the house of God, they are saying, oh no, I don't think I can be able to do it. Uh -uh. If you're saying you don't, know how, you don't think you can be able to do it, you're not you're seeing yourself through the eyes of Christ. You are seeing yourself carnally. Amen. But when you see yourself through the eyes of Christ, you can say, I can do all things. When you see yourself through Christ, you say, uh -uh, there is no situation that will be able to overcome me. Why? Because God has placed me here on the earth to be able to reign through him. So you you're not doing it by yourself. Any time that you think you can't is because you are looking in inwardly. But every time that you know you can do it is when you're seeing yourself through Christ. When you see yourself through Christ, there is nothing that you cannot be able to do. There is no mountain that you cannot be able to bring down. But if you see yourself separate of Christ, then it's going to be impossible. But when you see yourself through Christ, there is nothing that is going to be impossible with you. Because for those who are in Christ, you can confidently say nothing shall be impossible with me it's not you you're not just seeing yourself you are seeing yourself as one that Christ is working through so I would say in one word that the purpose of sitting is reigning I refuse in my life for Jesus to have paid the price to have gone to that cross shed the blood for me insulted his beard pulled insulted his they even spat on him i refuse for jesus to have gone through whatever he went through and then i don't reign i choose to occupy i have to occupy until he comes i want by the time he comes to say good and faithful servant